Hello everyone, Jason from MisprintedMTG.com and welcome to another episode of Misprint Masterclass where we go in depth about the various types of misprints and all the variations we can expect to see in uh, that category of misprints. And today's category is foil errors. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this card I have in front of you here is kind of the fundamental ground work for understanding a lot of different types of foil errors. The reason why I'm showing this card first the, is because it shows specifically the white underprinting layer. The white underprinting layer is the layer of ink. It is a white ink that gets applied to the foil stock first and it acts as a masking agent and it determines which parts of the card show foil and which show less foil. Ink is translucent, so when you print ink on top of this card, in these areas over here, it's going to have the foil effect. And in this spot right there, it's going to have much less of a foil effect. It, the foil will be occluded. So understanding how the white underprinting layer works is paramount for understanding a variety of uh, foil errors. So let's take this earth elemental, for example. Uh, when you look at it at first, you might not even realize that this is a misprint. Um, the misprint that we have going on here is that there actually is no white underprinting layer. As we move the card around, there's uniform foiling effect happening. No part is specifically occluded more on the card than another. Here is actually a normal earth elemental foil, and you can see especially in the text box. Let's see if I can get these to kind of reflect together. That we have a foil effect on the one missing the underprinting layer on the left, whereas that foil effect is occluded in the text box and on the Earth Elemental itself. So one of the types of misprints that you could have is just no foil under or white underprinting layer at all. This is another white underprinting layer error. And you can see here that the white underprinting layer has been partially occluded, kind of an oil sling effect. Um, we see splotches and blotches on cards and the white underprinting layer is not immune from those types of errors. So you could see here, right across the entire center of the card, there is no white underprinting. Now here's something that happens on foils as well. It's kind of the opposite. All of the layers except for the white underprinting have been occluded, and we get a little visual blotch that shows only the white underprinting. Here's another example of an occlusion that blocks the white underprinting layer, and you kind of get these weird two circles and a line across. This happened to a bunch of cards uh, from this particular product. Um, we don't really know what it is that was occluding it, but it only affected the white underprinting layer. Here's an older white underprinting layer error. Uh, you could see that we only have three horizontal bars of foil um, effect on the card, and that's because those three bars have no white underprinting. Now, it's really interesting on these because the rest of the card actually appears to be not foil at all, so we have two large blocks of white underprinting where there's probably supposed to be some templating and some cutouts in the art. Um, it, the layer is completely messed up on this card. Uh, and this was, I don't want to say a common error for Prophecy, I believe this set is, um, but this particular three bar foil error is seen in only this set. Now, this one is a little bit more difficult to see. See if I can get it on camera. There we go. This is a case where the white underprinting layer has been misregistered. So we kind of get that blurry effect where the parts that were supposed to be foil are offset from where they actually are. So you can see in the mana cost and the name So that's because the white underprinting layer has been misregistered. Now, I'm not entirely sure about the process involved 
with etched foils. Uh, I assume there is some sort of white underprinting layer, and you could just sort of make it out that on this, the frame has been misregistered, um, but everything else looks like it's just fine. Uh, but this is something that's kind of specific to etch foils. And another variant that we've kind of seen is where the card is kind of miscut, but the underprinting layer for the etched foil it seems to be in the correct spot. Still on underprinting errors, this one is a classic. This is a Dark Steel Colossus, and let's see if I can get it to show up. There we go. In the box, uh, the text box, you could see that forest symbol. That's only supposed to be on the basic lands, or the foil basic lands from M10. Uh, this guy was not supposed to get it. On um, this, uh, I think Chinese, um, mixing up my languages, Japanese. Oh, I'm going to get a lot of flack on YouTube for this. Um, the templating for this is uh, underprinting templating for a rare, the, a non-creature rare, actually. So you see the white underprinting is off in the power and toughness box. And also we have the little crescent for the hollow stamp placement of a rare. Now, probably one of the most famous white underprinting errors is the wrong white uh, underprinting um, for the Captain's Claws with the Gold Knight Castigator underprinting. So this has the underprinting for a completely different card on it. And this happened in standard showdown packs only on three specific cards. But still a really cool error. And here's one of the other showdown cards. I think it just shows up really nice on this. So Tormenting Voice with Drake Haven. So these are all white underprinting errors. Now we get to some more errors that are specific to foil that have nothing to do with the white underprinting. Actually, this has something to do with white overprinting. Uh, so these are called shifted foils. Uh, they're common in Mercadian masks. Um, well, not common, they're actually pretty rare to find nowadays. And we can see here that the black border and the text is shifted down. You see the black border covering the mana cost. And if I can get it right in the light here and get my camera to focus. Come on, camera. You'd actually see, there we go, that black border overlapping the card frame. So it happens where it shifts down and also horizontally. And these are variants where the border and the text are shifted. Here's a different type of uh, foil, uh, shifted foil, where the card frame and art are shifted, but the white text is in the correct spot. And here's the exact opposite of that, where just the white text is shifted down. So there's a lot of different variations of these shifted foils. This one is probably my favorite. Uh, where you have the frame and art that are shifted down, but you can see that the underprinting uh, was shifted with it too, and you get that, the, so the border also wasn't shifted. The border is in the correct spot. Um, this is a really cool effect. And these of the shifted foils are probably the rarest ones. And in our most recent set, we actually got gifted with a new batch of shifted foils. So it was something that was only seen in older sets for a while until our most recent release where we got shifted foils again.
Now, here's another error that's unique to foils. It's actually a physical object that's embedded between the cardstock layers. There's a foil layer that gets glued during the paper production uh, over the layer of cardstock. And sometimes foreign bodies get trapped underneath that foil layer. So there's actually a piece of wood or dirt or dust or maybe a little rock, maybe a small piece of metal, who knows, embedded underneath the card layer. There's a common misconception that these are bugs. Uh, that is wrong. Uh, there have been cases where a bug can be proven to be embedded between the layers, but that was a one or two time thing. The majority of these are inorganic objects. Well, I guess it was organic, so. Maybe rocks are too. But here's an example where there was a delamination or non, uh, the glue, the adhesive wasn't properly applied. And you could actually see our cardstock layer and our foil layer separately. Here's a similar type of error where there's an error in how the foil layer is sticking to the cardstock layer. And this one's gonna be a little harder to see, but you can see those wrinkles in the middle of the text box, as long as the camera will focus. But this is also foil wrinkling is something that happens on foils only, obviously. I personally don't put much stock in foil wrinkles um, this is a type of error that is uh, replicatable um, with a normal foil and some various processes, um, but I do not think the ones that are out there are fakes. I don't think people are fraudulently wrinkling their foils in order to sell them off as misprints, but just know that it is possible. Here's another foil stock error. Now, normally you would think that this is a case where the white underprinting um, is on full blast on the left side of the card and on the right side of the card is completely missing. Well, this is actually not what's happening on this card. It's a foil stock error where the foil layer that was adhered to the surface of the card stock uh, was abruptly stopped. And you get a card that's not entirely foil as a result. And the last type of specific foil error that I have to show you is one where the cardstock was loaded in incorrectly during printing. So we have a card here that's foil on the back, non-foil on the front because the sheet was flipped when it was run through the printer. So that pretty much covers all the specific errors that you'll see that are specific to foils. If you guys want to learn more about misprints and rarities, check out the articles on misprintedmtg.com. If you like this video and found it informative and helpful, please hit the like button or subscribe and all the YouTube -y stuff. Thank you for checking out this video and I will see you guys next time.